Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So, um, what haven't we made on this channel before? What have we never made? A clock. <laughs> Obviously, a clock. You guys knew the answer already. <laughs> it was the last thing on the list, you know? We've gone through this entire list. No, I mean, there's like a million other things that we've never made before, but you know what? I landed on a clock this week, so we're making a clock, and I'm gonna make it really difficult for myself because that's just Artsy Mad Woman fashion, isn't it? So I'm gonna try to do like resin painting, um, like a 3D, <laughs> I'm explaining this so stupid. I'm gonna try to make like a, like a, a 3D clock, a resin 3D clock. So this is gonna be like a swirl and we're just gonna start doing it because I feel like I can't explain it. So there's gonna be like resin, there's gonna be resin painting, like we're gonna get into a couple different things. But anyway, so we have this gigantic mold and it actually has a layer of resin on the bottom, which I'm gonna continue working with. Uh, but in all honesty, that layer is from a long lost project that never even saw the light of day, clearly. But I don't wanna waste the layer. No, why, why would you? you pop that out and then start over? So that means that we don't have to pour a layer of resin first. Obviously, like you would, you wouldn't just start painting right on the mold. I feel like I'm confusing people. So we're actually gonna start painting first. So I'm gonna go for like warm, kind of like sunsetty tones here. Do you know the Muffin Man? Yes, I know the Muffin Man. I literally just quoted this in another video. Why? Why is this lodged in my brain? To the Muffin Man? To the Muffin Man! <laughs> He's married to the Muffin Man. No, she's married. Maybe it's a gay Muffin Man. Could be. Could be. The Muffin Man. The Muffin Man? <laughs> what were you gonna say? What I was trying to say is that <laughs> since you have the most yellow paint, maybe you should save it for last? I think I'm gonna make it the middle because I want the least of it. Ah. Not a big fan of yellow. I'm literally wearing yellow. <laughs> like I was trying to explain, but I think I failed. I'm gonna try to do like a 3D spiral. So there's gonna be a bunch of different layers where I'm gonna try to do a spiral and like blend these colors into the last color, if that makes sense. Like the last color in the previous layer, I'm gonna try to blend them. And then when it's done, hopefully it'll look like almost a spiral that's coming out at you. Let's get started. Switch up the angle so they can see what I'm doing. Start switching it up. <laughs> so I think I'm just gonna wing it. Isn't that what we do around here anyway? So I have my yellow paint and my angled paintbrush. I'm, I'm honestly just gonna like dive into this. It's not looking so bad. The beginning of that was really scary and dodgy and I felt like this is dumb. This isn't gonna be a thing. No one wants to see this. But now it looks okay. Yeah. I think this is a good layer. I'm really hoping that this just looks like I don't know, just like an ombre, like sunset-y colored ribbon that like kind of pops off of the wall because I'm definitely gonna leave that space in between clear. Like everything besides the spiral is gonna be clear. So I'm hoping that it looks like really 3D, like popping off of your wall. Once this is dry, we'll come back and do a layer of resin right over it. I'm gonna leave it at this, let it dry, we'll come back do a layer of resin and then continue our ombre colors into the pinks that we have. So I will see you guys once the paint is dry.
All right, so it's been 24 hours since the last layer that we did. So now we're gonna get started with the pink. I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna probably start with some yellow and then to like continue the swirl that we started. And then we're gonna get into the pink and kind of blend them together. I'm hoping that we get kind of like a peachy color when we mix them together. But anyway, we're gonna start with yellow and try to continue the swirl and blend into this pink. All right, so I've ripped off a little piece of sponge and I'm gonna try to use this to like blend the yellow in to like continue the swirl. Okay, so the swirl so far, looking pretty good. I feel like I did have to do a bit of work like blending this color into the next the way that I wanted it to look, but it's looking pretty good now. So the tail end is right where the pink, like the actual pink color is starting. So it's the next day and I think what we're gonna do instead, cause I think I showed you guys like a, like a warm color scheme, but I think I wanna bring the pink into blue so that we kind of transition like from pink to a purpley, then to blue. I feel like that would be really pretty. And it's something different. I felt like all the warms were cool, but I felt like they were also a little too close to each other. Anyway, this is looking super cool. I'm in love. Also, it's Halloween. Um, unless you guys think that this is my normal style, which it kind of is, almost. Minus the bangs. Style, yeah, but not specific. <laughs> anyway, take my hat and we will begin painting.
All right, you guys, so I think we're either five or six layers in, and this is what it's looking like right now. I know you guys saw it yesterday, but it's basically cured now. So here's the thing. I don't know why, but I can't decide what I wanna do with it. I feel like there are so many options that I'm a little overwhelmed. And I even went on Instagram and I was like, do I keep going? Or do we pop it out and make it into a clock now? Here's the here's why I asked this question. Um, if I keep going, like if I do a few more layers, that obviously makes it even more 3D. But as you guys can see, there's not much more room to go. There's like kind of nowhere else to go. I feel like if I kept going, I don't, I don't really know where I would go. All right, here's what we're gonna do. Because I'm greedy as hell, I, <laughs> I want at least one more layer. I don't know if that's gonna make a huge difference, but I want it. So I think I'm gonna fade it into another, like maybe like a teal that I have like a blue green. So it's gonna be its own separate color. It's not gonna be yellow. It's not gonna be like repeat colors. I want another layer. We're gonna do it, okay? So we're gonna paint and then we're gonna do the last layer. It's gonna be the last layer and I'm just gonna bust my butt to get this video out this week. I, I, I mean, that doesn't matter because you're watching it right now. So anyway, we're gonna paint. Let's do it. So it is the next day and we are ready to finally pop this thing out. I think we're at like six, seven layers, six, seven. Oh, wow. Really? Something like that. Yeah. Well, how many colors are there? How many different colors? Uh, one, two, three, four, five. There was the first layer that we painted the yellow on. So maybe we're at six layers. So we're going to pop this thing out, which is kind of a process because it's held together by like a bunch of screws and are these wing nuts. Let's take this thing apart and pop it out. I'm so excited to see what it looks like. I know. We're gonna switch up the angle. Okay, first thing I'm gonna do to take this apart is take off the little, I really hope these are wing nuts because that would make the most sense. They're definitely wing nuts. Anyway, we're gonna take these off. All right, so all of the wing nuts are taken off. So now we're just left with these screws. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so can I just bonk it? I think so. I think so, theoretically. Oh, oh, that came off nice. Yeah. Oh, easy peasy. You flip it over and there are like lips on the side and you just kind of bonk it till it comes off. Ta -da. Okay, so I just remembered. This is what this little square is for. So you like put it on here on one of the little screws that are connected to the very bottom piece. And then you take a little wing nut thing and you secure it on there. Then you bonk it, right? Okay, so it, it took us a second to separate this from the bottom. Because, I mean, we have to keep in mind that this last, like, this very first layer that's, like, connected to the bottom piece, 
has been there for a long time, like months. Because remember, long lost project I mentioned, I had to use my little X-Acto knife and like kind of stab right where the resin meets the mold and create like a little, you know, separation like air pocket. And I, oops, <laughs> and I think it has worked. So now we're gonna do the final bonkings to get this to come off. My God. Wow. What? It's like static electricity or something. I was worried. I feel like I worry every single time I use that mold. Here is what the piece looks like right now. Just popped out. I love it with like the black background. Right in the middle, I'm gonna be drilling a hole right through there. And then we're gonna get the clock parts that I got to go through there. How did that happen? <laughs> it's like the whole two layers too big. <laughs> All right, if this thing isn't a clock, what is it? If this thing isn't a clock, what is it? I don't have time. I'm just gonna turn this into a thing. <laughs> they can see me. <laughs> just like having a mental breakdown over here. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I can turn this into something. Name off like random things. Chair. Okay. Uh, table. Maybe a table. Maybe it could be a table. I, I literally told them I'm greedy, I want one more layer. Yeah. To be fair though, these last couple of layers were mega thin. Yeah. So I don't think my greedy layer did this to us, <laughs> but it did add to it. Yeah. So. Hey guys, <laughs> remember when I said we were gonna make a clock in this video? I lied, okay? My plan all along was to completely fail. So the problem is that this clock part, this is called a shaft apparently. This shaft is uh, the longest shaft I could find for clock parts. I think it's an inch, an inch and a half maybe? I, I think that's uh, four fifths of an inch. Oh, okay, four fifths of an inch. It's the biggest I could find. And the resin piece I made is too thick for this, the, just barely too thick for this. It's like a quarter inch or less. Yeah. So, you know, this isn't a clock. <laughs> okay, this is like the biggest fail in a long time. I haven't failed in forever. You guys always ask, why don't you do fail videos? I honestly, I haven't failed like this in a long time. <sighs> I thought this was gonna work. <laughs> yeah. What is it? If it's not a clock, then what is it? You guys tell me, what do you want me to turn this into? I'll turn it into anything. You say it, I'll make it into whatever you say, unless it's something really crazy, like, A but, helmet. Huh? A helmet. Right, don't, don't say helmet, but like, I'll turn it into just nearly anything, okay? Help me out here. <laughs> Throw me a line, because <laughs> this whole time I thought this was gonna be a clock and it didn't tell me that it didn't want to be a clock. Yeah. <sighs> so we failed today, I don't know. It's fine. It's going to be something else. It's going to be something cooler exactly. than a clock. And you know what? We can still make a clock at some point. Tell me what it is. I'll make it into whatever you guys think it should be. It's still really cool looking. It's I love that you can see through it. And uh, it is a little 3D, to be honest. It's not like, whoa, spiral popping out at me. But it is still really, really cool looking. So... Anyway, let me know in the comments what I should turn this into. This is my biggest fail, like, literally ever, I think. Actually, you know what? My biggest fail was um, I made one of those, like, giant sunflowers. Here, I'll try to put, um, a, a, like, a little picture here. Um, I tried to make one of these giant sunflowers, and I, I used a different kind of resin um, that cures faster, and I put way too much, and it bubbled and had, like, a seriously dangerous reaction. Do you remember that? I do. And it starts smoking and bubbling, like, like, scary. Yeah. <laughs> it was terrifying. Uh, and I had to pour water on it to get it to, because I thought it was going to catch fire. Yeah. So I, I flooded it with water. 
Don't do that. It is what it is. You know what? It's not. It's not what it is yet. We That's don't know true. what it is yet. It's an adolescent resin piece. Exactly. There's it's... so much opportunity. Exactly. Exactly. We're going to turn this into lemonade, okay? Yep. These really, really sour lemons, they're going to be turned into some delicious lemonade. You guys are going to provide the sugar. <laughs> exactly! So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Like, seriously, thank you for, if you're here still, thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. Uh, make sure you subscribe to my channel and follow me literally everywhere. It is at Artsy Mad Woman. I love you guys to absolute death. And I look forward to seeing your comments down in the comments because I need them. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Let's just do it again. Let's just do it again. I love you guys to absolute death. And I will see you in the next video. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> there we go. You got it. <laughs> So that means that we actually don't have to have to bleh, 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 bleh. <laughs> You know what I did once? What? <laughs> Ricky and I were at a store and he was looking at plaid. <laughs> and I was like, I hate plaid. <laughs> and he you... looks at me and he's like, You're wearing plaid. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, you know, I am. <laughs> I'm just a hypocrite, okay? I myself am a strange and unusual. <laughs> So sorry. Oh, fudge. What? You know, in a Christmas story when they're like taking the oh. the screws off of the tire and, and then he drops them. Didn't really say oh fudge. And I will see you in the next video. Oh my god, that sounded just like Mark. I almost said it like him too. Bye-bye. Oh my god, yeah.